and this is going to really be a blast. I think you're going to like this. Joey Green, Mad Scientist 2 Handbook, is with us. And Joey, um, you guys all ready for this? Yeah. Joey, would you explain exactly what you're going to do here? Well, Kent, we're doing the exploding Coca-Cola experiment. And all you need for this is a, a two-liter bottle of Coca-Cola. Let me just set this down here. Kids, pay attention. You can do this at home. And you just need... 13 years or older, and you have a parent around and all sorts of things like that, right, Joey? Absolutely. You want a parent around. And also, you need some Mentos, just the candy Mentos. And what you do is you just take a simple nail, like I've got here, and you simply push it through the Mentos. So you make a hole in about six of the Mentos, like beads. Then you take some dental floss and string the uh, Mentos together and you'll see here what I've got at the top here is the cap of a soda bottle and with parental supervision of course I've drilled a quarter inch hole in the top of it so I've got those Mentos screwed on here a piece of tape to hold them in place. How did you come up with this? Were you just bored one day? Well this is actually nuclearization of Coca-Cola. I'm gonna unscrew the uh, Coca-Cola here and it's a fresh bottle of Coca-Cola. We take our little device here we screw that on then we just simply remove the tape. Three, two, one. Yeah! Woo! Oh, man! Oh, you gotta love it! You gotta love it! We're gonna be back with bottle rockets with Alka Seltzer and more when we come back in Northwest Afternoon. Yeah! make another kind of rocket, aren't we, Joey? Absolutely. With Alka-Seltzer, you find all sorts of uses for things <laughs> that we can find around the house. <laughs> what, what do we need here to make the little Alka-Seltzer rocket? Again, at home with parental permission, of course. Okay, what you need here, this is a Fuji film canister, not a Kodak canister. Um, I love both films, but this one on the Fuji, you can see that it seals inside the canister instead of the Kodak, which seals around the outside. Now, what I've done is I've taken some construction paper here, and I've made a rocket around the canister here. So you can see the canister there in the bottom of this uh -huh. little rocket I've made. And then all you need is two Alka-Seltzer tablets. Actually, I'm going to use one Alka-Seltzer tablet. That's all you need. And you put it in the bottom of this canister here. Okay. You put the water in, you seal it up, you place it on the table, and we do a, a little countdown. So are you ready? Are you ready? Sure. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. here we go. We're going to fill it. Whoops. Actually, I'm going to put the water in first, then the Alka-Seltzer. That'll make more sense. We just fill it about halfway with water. How high is it supposed to go? It's about, well, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Drop in the Alka-Seltzer tablet. All right, starting to fizz. Seal it closed. And then five, four, three, two, two one. one. And a half. Woo! <laughs> how, how did you time that so perfectly? Yeah, I mean, how did you know exactly when that was going to happen? Complete accident. <laughs> Seriously? Absolutely. You just keep counting and just hope for the best there. Oh, that's but, an easy one. Right, now, you have fun. a balloon rocket, too. How does that work? The balloon rocket is another way of making a rocket, and all you need is some string, a, gla a glad straw. I've got the straw, you see, strung through the string here. Mm -hmm. And, Kent, you're going to have to run fast with me here. All right, I'm running with you. Okay, uh, let's run all the way up here. And I'm going to give you, if you could stand up for me, stand up tall. And what is your name? Nicole. Nicole. I want you to hold the end of this string. Are you ready, Nicole? Are you excited about this? Yeah. Okay, and Kent? Yeah. We're going to take the end of this string I'm, here. I'm with you. We're going to unroll the you. whole thing, and we're going to bring it all the way to the front here. Bring uh -huh. it all the way out to the front across the audience there. Run, 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 run. I'm with you. I'm with you. He's not running. There we go. Good running, good running. What is your name? Claire. Claire, stand on up. Everybody give Claire a big, a big hand, yeah? Claire, hit, hold that up. Okay. Claire, are you sick about this? Yeah. Okay. okay run with <laughs> now, Nicole, what we're going to do with you, you got that straw up there? Oh. Where's that straw? It ran away. It ran away. <laughs> There's the straw. Ah, there we go. Now, what we're going to do, we're gonna hold, I want you to hold the string tight, so the two of you are really tight there. Tight, 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 tight. That's it. Can we shoot a Lisa? And you see, you see <laughs> the straw? Everybody see the straw, how it goes back and forth here? Yeah. Now we're going to blow up this balloon here. <laughs> Whoa, that's a loud balloon. Okay, everybody's plugging their ears. Is that big enough? Yeah. Now, Kent, yeah, what? You, you hold the end of this balloon. What? Okay. You hold the end of the balloon tight. Got it. Hold it underneath the straw. All right. I've got some, no, this way. That direction, exactly. I got the scotch tape here. What we're going to do is take two pieces of scotch tape. We're going to tape the balloon to the straw here, like so. 
Got it. We put another piece of tape on there. Oh, I see what's going to fire this balloon now. I'm getting okay. it. Okay, and All this right. is a little Newton for you. You know, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So, everybody, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> that goes with it is precious, too. I <laughs> love that. Now, here's something that you could do with old potatoes around the house, too, if you've got potatoes that are on the edge. Now, this is sort of a potato gun you're going to make? A potato gun, a potato popper. Uh, oh, all, potato you popper. Need, mm -hmm. all you need is a PVC pipe. Look at all the parents of potato going, ha, 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 ha. Very nice. <laughs> now, I just got this at the hardware store. It's a PVC pipe we use with the sprinkler system and a wooden dowel, and I just made sure it fits inside the PVC pipe like so. So okay. it's a very tight fit. Got it. Then you take a potato, and of course, with your mom or dad, you cut up the potatoes into like nice one inch slices here. You take the uh, PVC pipe and you push it down. So you got a nice piece so of potato in it. That's it, exactly. Okay. Then you do the other side as well. Other side. So you got two pieces of potato, kind of like corks, okay. inside the, the pipe. Got it. And you take your plastic dowel. All right. And you simply push the stick inside it. Now the other way. Other what? way, like, like I am. How do you, well, backside. Uh, that's it, like that. Well, how yeah. do you know if I just went like that, that couldn't be the backside? It could be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now you want to aim upwards. Who is the Actually, rocket scientist here? Uh, huh? Actually, you might want to aim at uh, Kent. That might okay, be Okay, got more it. Fun. Why, why, why? Oh, no, no, oh, oh. no. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. The Dixie Cup Bridge, we're going to bring up my daughter, Julia, who is. Julia, how old are you? Six. How old are you, Six. Julia? Six. Oh. The, oh. Come okay. Now, wait a second. What's it like to have a dad that does this? Is this pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah, I bet it is. All you right. want to get him with a uh, potato popper? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm okay. not going to bend down now. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, here's oh, what we've got. We've got, this is a Dixie cup bridge. So what you do is you take uh, 25 Dixie cups and you do five by five like I've got here. We're going to take a little, uh, this is one of those foam core boards and just cover up those cups. Actually, I'm going to use this one here because I've got another 25 on top of it. We get those cups nice together. And then we're going to put the other foam core board on top of it like so. And the question is, is it possible for Julia, who weighs how much? 43 pounds. Exactly, 43 pounds, to stand on top Me of too. this. <laughs> <laughs> to stand on top of this without <laughs> collapsing it. So come over here, Julia, hold my hand, walk slowly Seriously? on top of it. Slowly, slowly, and it supports her weight. Wait a minute, how much weight will it support? Seriously. Well, Kent, it's now your turn. All right, so this is 185 pounds. Give or take 10. Oh, sorry. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey! Go. Wow! <laughs> You're kidding me. Now and now great. that you softened it up, no, I'm not going to stand up. <laughs> now, what's great about this is you can build it as high as you want. And, really? And parents, this will keep your kids uh, occupied for about an hour or two on a rainy day. So it's an excellent project. And I'm not going to tell you, I'm a mad scientist. I just make a mess and have a good time. How these things work, that's for you to figure out. So you excite your kids, get yourselves excited about learning why all these things work. Joey Green is our special guest today. And I know a lot of kids love playing with that green slime. Parents in our audience, you've paid you for it? How much you pay? How much? $6 for a bucket. $6 for a bucket well, of slime? So it'd be nice if we could make it ourselves, which is something that you can show us how to do right now, Joey. We need some volunteers. Absolutely. Absolutely. We need about three kids. So um, why don't we take, uh, why don't you pick? Okay, I want to pick you in the very back row on the right. Yes, you come down here. Young man, you come here. And you pick one. All right, and you right there, you come down. Okay. Make some slime. Come make slime with Come us. Make we need slime. three kids. What do we need? What kind of items do we need? Okay, first we uh, need willingness to make a big mess. So you want to keep it outside for your parents. So you, why don't you guys come over here? Don't be afraid. Come on over. Okay. I bite. Here. <clears throat> um, now what we got? What are your names? What's your name? Mine is Brian. And yours? Taylor. And yours? Andrea. These are our chefs for today. <laughs> okay, Andrea. Andrea, why don't you come over here? <laughs> no. All you need is two uh, glass bowls, like so. And Andrea, why don't you take this uh, Elmer's glue, which is a bottle of Elmer's glue, and just pour the whole thing into there. Just oh, squeeze it, empty the whole hard. thing. Squeeze it, get the all the glue. Thing. Yeah, all the glue into that. Uh, oh, you're liking that, aren't you? Yeah. Into that bowl. Never get to do that. Now, the beautiful thing about Elmer's glue is it comes in a four-ounce bottle. And what you need for this is four ounces of water. So all you need to do is, once you've emptied the glue bottle, fill it with water. And I've got some water here. Okay. So why don't you pour this water into that uh, jar, into that bowl there. Just right just now. Go right ahead right and here. pour the water pour right, right in, in there. there. Right next okay. to it. Fill that with water. Excellent. 
You guys are excellent mad scientists. And why don't you take this green food coloring, that's why we call it green slime, and usually I do about 50 drops, but let's be mad scientists and just carefully squeeze as much green slime in there as possible. That's a beautiful job. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh. This is the kind of recipe I think I could do, actually. Okay. Mm. Now I think I've eaten up. at your stir house. Stir that up. Yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> stir that up. Now, in the second bowl, while she's stirring that up there, in the second bowl, you just add a cup of water. So I'll just pour this water in here. And then you're going to use 20 mule team borax, which you can buy in the grocery store right next to the Tide, the All, the Cheer. And I'm just going to take a uh, two tablespoons, I'm sorry, one, one tablespoon. How much water was that again? Just a cup of water, okay. but I'm, you know, I'm a mad scientist, so if I make a mess and just do it all wrong, that's okay. And I put some uh, borax in there, stir it up. Now, here's what I want you to do. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to take that bowl of the green glue with the water and all that gunk that you've made such a mess of here, and carefully pour it. Let me just mix that borax in there. Pour it into this second bowl here. Are you ready? Go ahead. Okay. Without getting it on yourself, pour it in there. Will this stain... When you Absolutely. Play with this? If you get that on the carpet, you're not watching oh. television for a long okay. time. Okay. <laughs> now wait a minute. It just sort of coagulated as it now, went in there. Now stick your hand in there, and and I want you to just mush it around. Just mush it around. Now pull it up. Make a fist and pull it up to here with me, and hold it up there. And there you got green slime. All right. Whoa. Is that cool? They all want to touch it. Yeah. Pull you it can all up, touch it, it. Just don't touch pull it up us. Here, pull it up here. Does so it feel like the real deal? Yes. Feel like the real deal? Oh. Is it good? Yeah. 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 yeah.